What's up guys, welcome to this video and in today's topic I want to talk about how to deal with Facebook ad comments so if you're an advertiser, if you run any kind of advertising on Facebook or on social media you'll probably experience uh, people commenting on your ads and saying good things and bad things or so-so things and uh, this is something really important because it's gonna help the performance of your ads it's gonna help you position yourself above your competition and uh, improve your business. So basically what I wanna tell you is that how, you, how should you react to the comments of your ads? Should you delete them? Should you hide them? Should you ban a person? Should you reply the comment? And how to reply it, all right? So basically uh, my formula is, is very simple. Like how I think about it is that the best defense is the offense right and what I mean by this is that when someone starts talking uh, crap about you or your product or your service or your company or whatever reason because there's always gonna be people that they're not even gonna they're not gonna, even gonna be a customer they maybe didn't have any experience with your company and they're gonna be like hey this is a scam right and they are literally just saying it to uh, be negative and you're gonna get so much of that stuff for your company because the thing is like there's a lot of skepticism in the internet so maybe a person bought a product from one company and it's similar to yours but it, they never bought a product from your company so when they see your ad they're gonna go into the comment section and say that hey this is a piece of crap and this and that or this is a scam so so basically what I do is that uh, when I get a neg negative comment on my ad, I almost every time I try to respond the ad. I don't go and instantly delete it or hide it because the best defense is the offense, right? So if someone comments your ad and says, hey, this company is a scam, and basically you realize that uh, this person is not a customer or they don't have a valid reason to say that, you can just say like, uh, I don't know, like, hey, John, we're sorry you feel that way, but uh, we never scam people we always ship the products that we promise uh, here's our link to our testimonials here's a link to our success stories uh, we have a 30-day refund guarantee and uh, by no means are we a scam uh, there's a lot of companies out there that might be scams that sell similar products but that's not the case here that's it right so you immediately stop it right there and you don't let it go like create a snowball effect of negative uh, comments because the thing is when you see negative comment after negative comment after negative comment on on people's ads uh, it doesn't really give um, like a lot of uh, confidence for people to purchase but if they see a negative comment and then you reply with um, your point with your point of view uh, with your argument it doesn't have to be uh, you know basically telling the other people to screw off it's just a, a, a comment with your argument then other people will see that and they're gonna be like, whoa, they're actually taking the time to respond to comments um, and they have a valid point of view, right? So there's uh, this is gonna happen in so many different shapes and forms. It can be for your e-commerce store uh, that people say, you know, I bought this uh, product and it's not as advertised, it's, co it's complete crap and it comes full of Chinese letters and maybe you're not doing that. And you know that this person bought a product from another company because you're absolutely not shipping in that kind of, uh, you're not shipping with Chinese letters, let's say, right? So um, what you can do in that case is tell a person, hey, can you give me your email address to see uh, how I ca if I can find your order? And if you don't find the order, then you know this is not your customer. And you can use that to your advantage and say, uh, hey, Sally, uh, we just noticed that uh, you didn't purchase this product from our store. Maybe you purchased it from one of our competitors, but certainly the quality on our store is a lot better. Uh, we're sorry that this happened to you, but we can guarantee that if you buy our product, uh, you're going to love, love it, right? Or maybe uh, this is for e-commerce and you're going to have, like I said, so many variations of that. Uh, today, I, have a, I had a comment on one of my ads that said like, um, it was a huge comment from a guy that said, I'm not uh, an expert on marketing, but I clicked the sales page and honestly, I felt this was all, uh, all you were doing was bragging about your results, your client results. It was a brag list, absolutely no value. And uh, this is a shame, blah, 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 right? This, this is a person that was uh, making a comment on one of my ads that was promoting one of my services. And in my sales page, I put a bunch of testimonials. I put my results. Uh, obviously, the idea is not to brag. I just put my results because people want to see that you are actually having results uh, from what the topic that you are selling. 
and I have a bunch of testimonials. It's like 80% testimonials. And basically, I said, man, I can, I can, I have two options. I can delete this comment. I can hide it. I can ban this person. That way, and no one sees it. But I basically said, like, the best option is just to uh, tell this person my thoughts, right? Because everyone wants to see that. They want to see that you are legit. And that's basically what I do with all my comments. So basically, I replied, like, hey, man, I'm sorry you feel this way, and I appreciate your feedback because this helps me improve my sales page and my sales funnel. Uh, but uh, how I see it is that the reason uh, this is absolutely not a brag list is just this is social proof marketing, which means that most people that when they want to purchase a service, they're looking to for testimonials, they're looking for results from the person that is selling the testimonials, they're looking how many uh, how, how many success stories they have. So that's what people are looking for. I don't know, at least me, if I'm going to get consulting, let's say, or buy a copywriting service or whatever, I want to look for client results. I want to look for previous work. I want to look for all this social proof. And that's why I have all this social proof. So basically, I, I said, yeah, this, this page is mainly social proof. It's not a brag list. And also, this page is not made for everyone. And the idea is not that everyone converts on this page. The idea is not that everyone resonates with this page. The idea is that my ideal target audience resonates with this page, blah, blah, blah. The point is that I made the long response. I replied and he said, um, I, hey man, thank you for uh, your comment. Most people who have just deleted my comment and, uh, and not replied. I'm not 100% uh, agreeing with you, but I respect that you replied to my comment and uh, blah 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 and that's cool right so people are gonna see that and that's gonna improve the engagement on your ads now another thing is that like if you reply to your comments on your ads you're gonna get more engagement now there is there was another guy <laughs> hating on one of my ads today and basically I just started replying started replying started replying um, and that creates a lot of engagement creates a lot of engagement and the thing is people get really pissed off when you ban them from your page or when you delete their comments and and the truth is that that doesn't really benefit you now here's one thing if people are being disrespectful disrespectful they're insulting people or you or they are saying uh, things that are really really incongruent and that absolutely have nothing to do with the ad itself you might uh, be able to delete that comment or ban that person if it's creating a negative and toxic environment for the other uh, Facebook users and that's normal because there's always gonna be people saying uh, you uh, piece of shit and this and that and and the truth is that uh, if you are certain that your product is great that you're not scamming people and this person is insulting or, or these types of more uh, aggressive cases then yeah you, sh you don't want that negative environment in your page you don't want those negative pe person in your page so I would just basically delete that comment and ban the person that's it but if it's if it's someone giving like feedback or someone that um, you know they're not insulting they're more like giving a, a maybe a bad comment or their or, or their thoughts about something and it might not be good you shouldn't ban the person the best defense is the offense and by offense I mean reply to your comments um, what else is basically the simple principle and also like in your fan page you should have like a list of keywords that you when you know when when you get that keyword the comment is gonna be hidden and usually that list of negative keywords are gonna be keywords that uh, you determine that are um, that are basically either insulting or are creating a, a negative toxic environment in your advertisements and every time one of those keywords appears on your ad it's gonna automatically hide it. Uh, for the most part, I like my comments, I like my ads to have a lot of engagement, a lot of comments. Uh, obviously, I love people that comment nice things, and in my ads, I have a lot of people that comment great things, but you're always gonna see the dude that's gonna be uh, telling how this is a scam and blah, blah, blah. So that's what I suggest you do. Uh, it's not the nicest option dealing with negative comments, but you can also have your team deal with negative comments. And um, also, if you're building, let's say, a personal brand, I would suggest that you uh, personally reply to uh, the most of the comments, right? Because people know when it's you or when it's your team in the Philippines or your team in the US. Uh, it's better to make that personal experience. And uh, yeah, it's just very, very important that you actually deal with comments. And it's not like you should not leave them just there doing their thing alone and hoping that you get a good comments and deleting comments. You should take control over the comment section rather than uh, leaving it there uh, hoping that people say good things because the truth is that not everyone is going to say good things because it's normal that's it for this video guys hope you found it valuable if you found it valuable be, be sure to go to sebastiangomezmentoring.com 
watch the video and uh, uh, if you want further help let's get on a call and see if i can help you out that's basically it for this one hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video